What's up, everybody? Punk Mike here, back with another video. And today we are opening the Waxbox Club for August 2022. That's right. Uh, first time actually breaking this box. I did a boom box recently. Was pretty pleased with that one. You get some more packs in here. You get nine packs in the box. Uh, so pretty excited about it. There is a dent in the box. Uh, but regardless, uh, I don't think that will affect the cards inside hopefully not so I'm just gonna open it up and we can talk about what we can get in here there should be a little slip inside that shows us okay 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 all right all right there we go Xbox club um uh, should have our peanuts get the peanuts packing peanuts here um so there is a guaranteed, um, okay, it's not hidden. There's a guaranteed auto or relic in here that I don't want to show yet. So you get seven pa featured packs. You get one extra pack, a vintage nostalgia pack, and an auto or relic. So we are just going to cover that up. I didn't even look at it. Okay. That was crazy. Um, so, yes, we have... Uh, well, let's just show the packs. How about that? We have 2021, 2022, Series 2. We got 2020, 2021, SP. Doesn't look like SP Authentic, unfortunately. Uh, OPG. We got a Panini Contenders from 11 and 12. Oh, here's an SP Authentic. Okay. So we could get, um, could get a Future Watch Auto out of that one. 2021, Series 1. Extended and Fleer from 0809. That is pretty cool. Let's start with um, I guess let's start with our extended from 2020 2021. So this is not a great crop of rookies, guys. Um, probably Michael Bunting might be the best one, but Drew O'Connor on the Penguins is in here, and he could have. Uh, ooh, we do have a Young Guns. That is amazing. He could have uh, bounce back here if he makes it onto the Penguins lineup opened a lot of this stuff so very familiar with these all right i'm gonna do the young guns last um got a soderberg statsny and i think i saw i think it was an anaheim ducks who is that okay cody curran not familiar with him cody curran um yeah this is just not a great um crop of, of young guns the extended unfortunately but um what are we going to do next? Let's do this Panini Contenders from 11 or 12. There's actually, believe it or not, a ton of signatures and signature patch checklists in this set that you can get, which is kind of cool. So um, we'll see. Maybe we'll get one of those. Gary Price, that's a cool one. Oh, my God. Ooh, Robin Leonard. Autograph. NHL Inc. Autograph. Hard signed. Okay, did not expect that, guys. I was over here just going right through these. We got a Stamkos and Pavelski. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's great. It's bad news that he just had hip surgery and is going to miss the entire next season. Um, so I guess this one could be up in the air. Probably will hold on to this, knowing that information. Um... I am actually really surprised we pulled that out of there. That is really cool. Um, I guess I was trying to tell, like, is that hard science? It doesn't say on the back. Uh, it doesn't say on the back or anything, but it looks hard signed, right? So um, that one's actually pretty cool. Hopefully next year he can bounce back and uh, from his hip surgery and have a really great year. To be honest, I don't expect him to play with Vegas next year. I think they're going to move on from him and realize that they don't need him. Let's do this. Um, wait a second. Wasn't there an SP in hockey in here somewhere? Here, let's do the SP hockey from 2020, 2021. A lot of people knocking this product. Uh, I actually enjoyed doing the uh, box, the uh, hobby uh, blaster box that I did um, because I got a couple, I mean, I got a couple decent names of the blue parallel, so maybe that's why I enjoyed it. But um, Okay, so SP Rookie Authentics, Thomas Harley, that's the Rookie Authentics Blue Parallel, and then we have our base Blue Parallel, Philip Grubauer, and Jake Gensel, nice, on the Penguins. Um, I actually didn't think it was a terrible product. I mean, the blaster is so cheap, so, like, how can you, you know, how can you complain? Um, what are we going to do next? Let's just keep going with SP 
and do SP authentic. Maybe we can get a uh, autograph out of this one. See another Grubauer on the back there. So we got David Perron, Alex Took, and Jonathan Huberdo. Nice. This looks like the retro, I think. I had one of these um, on the blaster I did, and I missed. Uh, was a, there was a Tom Wilson numbered card. Somebody pointed out to me that it was numbered because I completely missed it. Um, what are we going to do? Let's do OPG Platinum here from 2020, 2021. There's tons of inserts in this set. I actually really like the set. Going to do it every year. Um, there's rookie autos in here too, so you could get you could get some rookie autos, like a Kirill autograph or something. Hubert Doe, Brock Nelson. Is that anything? Yeah, that's a rainbow. I was going to say that looks a little different. Oops, of course I just dropped it. And a Brad Marshmallow. And Brock Nelson. Okay. I guess we'll do this Fleer. I've never opened a pack of... Fleer Ultra before. Um, I think I might have come across one in our in a repack potentially. I don't know though. Um, these ones, there's like a All Star Royalty Auto set, so we could get like an Ovechkin or a Crosby out of here. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever. I, I think I actually have got a Fleer card, but not from this year. So let's see. Daniel Briere. Ooh, franchise players of Marty Brodeur. That's a really cool one. Nice. Very nice. And what do we got here? Gold medallion of Mark Strait on the uh, Canadians. And okay, we just have a random. Is this anything? Is this like a redemption or something? Uh. Okay, I'm not really sure what the point of this is. If somebody knows, tell me. Uh, got a Brodeur base, it looks like. Um, Bernier and Nathan Horton. Okay, uh, let's go on to 2021 Series 1. So, already have a Zegris and a Caulfield French parallel. So, don't need to hunt for those. But um, some other ones I didn't get. Or I'll take another Zegris in. <laughs> I'll take another Zegris. Debrusk, um, Pedersen on the honor roll. Weber, Monahan, and Kasperi Krapanen. Don't know why the Penguins re-signed him. I thought that was a terrible, terrible deal. Hold on a second here. What we got? Oh, okay, so we got Series 2 Retail. Let's do that one first. And then we got Series 2 Hobby. So, it uh, would be nice to get a young gun out of these. McKinnon, uh, Stamkos, Lindell, Samsonov, and a UD Canvas, Claude Giroux. I hate these Canvas cards, guys. Brown, Klingbird, and Kopitar. All right, last pack then. So, we will do 2021-2022 Series 2 Hobby. So, I'm still hunting. Still hunting them young guns. Cider and Raymond. Uh, Taylor Hall. Patrick Keane, Nick Cousins, Chris Letang. We've got marquee rookies of Jake Neighbors, Zaka, Larkin, and Jost. Okay, so nothing. No other young guns or anything out of that one. Um, so that's all the packs, guys. But we now we have our guaranteed auto or relic hit. So let's see what that is. This looks like the back of the card here. So don't want you to see it. We're going to... Whoops. Well, it definitely looked like a jersey. So, um, authentic double-sided game-worn jersey. 2002-something titanium in the top corner. Who is that? Is that Daniel Alfredson? No, Marion Hosa. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, not terrible. Not great, in my opinion. What is this? 2002 uh, uh, private something titanium. Can't read that. But, all right, that's not bad, um, I guess. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so this is what the whole double-sided situation. Okay, so then we got another guy on the back here. Uh, Yuri, and I can't even read the last name with this text on here. What the heck? So is this one card? Okay, I guess it's one card. A um, little bit uh, kind of bent there. Maybe that's where the box was dented. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, this is okay. You know, definitely not names I'm in love with. So I, I may... Uh, 
may probably just try to put this up on eBay. But um, so there you have it, guys. That is the Waxbox Club for August 2022. Um, yeah, pretty. I mean, pretty excited about it. I kind of I like the boombox. I think better. So I don't know if I'll do a wax box next month i think i'll i don't know we'll have to see let me know i mean let me know you think i should do another one let me know if you guys um let me know if you guys open the wax box and what you pulled from there and if you think it's worth it or not would love to hear also do me a favor like subscribe leave a comment that you subscribed i'll respond to your comment and yeah thanks for watching and i will check you later